Good evening. Good evening. Hello. How are you? I am fine. And you? And you better now? Yes, I feel so much better now. <laughs> Thanks, God. You look, yes. you look better. <laughs> Thank you, Ruth. Hello, Francisco. Francisco. Hello, good evening. Celebrated Father's Day since Friday. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was sick. Really? You were sick? Oh, yeah, sorry for that. I have very today. But you feel better, and that's good. Yeah. That's good. Okay, very nice. Okay. Welcome to the last class of course, a intermediate one, right? This is the this is the last one, the class number 16. And well, yes, can you imagine 16 days have already passed? Um, today is Monday, June 19th. And we are going to review the topic of indirect questions. So at the end of the class, you will be able to make indirect questions. Oops, I forgot to write activities, but we have recalling previous knowledge. Then we're gonna have a indirect questions in a practice, conversation practice. Okay, to start with the class, with the recalling previous knowledge, I need you to complete, think about it and complete the statement. I had always, I have never seen, I have never been to, I had always wondered, I have never eaten, and today I wish I could. So think about this statement and complete with your own ideas, whatever comes to your mind. Okay, whatever comes to your mind, try to complete with your idea. Okay? Okay. And while you do it, I will take your attendance. So, say present or here. Adriana Gretel Gonzalez. Here. Oh, Adriana, nice. Ana Silvia Rodriguez. Blanca Guadalupe Benavides. Present teacher. Thank you, Blanca. Blanca Margarita Guevara. Eh, David Alonso Mejia. Present. Thank you, David. Esaú Ismael Tobar. Present. Thank you, Esaú. Evelyn Marroquín. Evelyn. Uh, Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Present teacher. Okay. Glendy Elisette Flores. Giselle Marie Hernandez. Marie Hernandez. Isaura Evelia Vázquez. Present teacher. Okay, Jairo Naman Moss. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Jairo. Josué Miguel Portillo. Josué Miguel. Karen Elizabeth Bernal. Present teacher. Okay, Karen. I saw Miguel here. Ah, but he's connecting to the audio yet. And what about Karen Yvette Villanueva? Karen Yvette? Kenya Vanessa Corpera? Leslie Victoria Moran Mirón? Good evening, I am here. Good evening, Leslie. Luisa Ariana Guerra. Mayra Patricia Pérez de García. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Nerlin Jaciel Flores. Ninrob Saúl Guzmán. Nubia Cristina Morales. Present, teacher. 
Okay, Nubia. Oscar Alexander Santana. Renato Salvador Ramírez. Ruth Noemí Beltrán. Present teacher. Jenny Carolina Ardón. Cruz. Present teacher. Okay, Jenny, thank you. Well, we have a lot of absences today. <laughs> Just a few students, but thank you for connecting. Okay, um, did you complete the statement with your ideas? Maybe I have always get up early. Okay, you had always gotten early, gotten up early. <laughs> Remember that I'm you have to use the present perfect here. Well, um, I will send you to break of rules because I want you to share these statements with your classmates. For example, I had always wanted to visit a New Zealand, the country New Zealand, because it's like a paradise. Another example could be, I have never seen a ghost. I've never seen a ghost. And um, another one, I have never been to United States, okay? Another one, I had always wondered if there is life in another planet. I have never eaten ramen, or I have never eaten a snake. Have you? And today I wish I could be with you in person so we can do other activities, but we are online. <laughs> I wish I could share with you a cake because it's the last day of the class. <laughs> okay. So now I, I will send you to break up rooms and you will practice your English with your ideas, completing the statement. So please take advantage of this opportunity of speaking. Go ahead. I have always learned other languages. Very good. Go to the breakout rooms, join the breakout rooms. Hello, Karen. Me parece que tengo... Mi question. Sí, pero las tengo algo borroso, se enviaron. Me... Algo borroso salió la, la, la imagen. Teacher, please. 
I have I, always, for example, I have always learned in other language. Eso es lo que yo, lo que yo pienso. I would send you. I have the, never seen. Yep. Las preguntas, teacher. I will send you the, the statement. Okay. No, no. Okay, I understand. Okay. Yep. I have always. I have, I have always. Yep. I never see. I have always. Yo he siempre. Eso significa. ¿no? I have always learned other language, for example. Okay. Uh, yeah. In my case, I have always uh, learned other language. Yeah, good. Learn. What is the pronunciation? Learn. 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 And in the past okay. or past participle learned. Learn. Okay. I had always wanted to learn another language. Uh, yeah. I had always wanted to learn hit. a new language. Okay. What's meaning hit in this in this case? In which one? Hit. What's meaning? For example, you learn. I have always hit. I had a. Repeat. Repeat, please. Is the number. Once I have always hit. I list. I I I. I, I heard. know. I, I said I, I had always wanted. Wanted. I always wanted. Wanted. Ah, oh, sorry. I had always wanted, siempre he querido, I had always wanted to yeah. learn uh, a new language. I, I had always learned learn swim. I had always wanted swim. to learn swimming. Okay. To learn swimming. I have, I have always went um, to yeah. dance. <laughs> wanted. Oh, you had always wanted to dance. I don't have a we, dance. We, we use the verb in past, in past in participle. Yep. Wanted we is the past participle of want. Past participle. Past participle. Mm -hmm. I have never drive a bike. Drive you have never bike. ridden, ridden a bike. Ridden, uh, ridden. I have never ridden a bike. Yes, because reading is the past participle of right. In my in my childhood, yep. I don't have a bike. Ah, uh -huh, you didn't have a bike when you were a when you were little. When I have when I have a leader, I don't have a bike. Ah, uh, when you were little, <laughs> I'm sorry for that. <laughs> well, at least my brother had one. <laughs> in, in my case, it's me too. My brother have a bike. My sister and I, I don't have a bike. Oh, you didn't have one. Yes. Yeah, but I, I used my brother's bike. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue, okay. please. Okay. Uh, <laughs> How are you? How are you? Uh, what's your name? Uh, I have always always wondered. Uh, where are you from? Everything they everything for one person. Um, I have always wondered um, how. Are you from? Okay. Uh, in okay in. The next. Yes. My 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 turn. Yes. I have never ate. Um, I don't know. Uh, dog. Taquasin. <laughs> taquasin. No, I I ate taquasin. You have eaten. You have eaten taquasin. Yeah, when I, I like when I, when I have a kid in the, the house, the dog uh, hunter the ones, 
uh, 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 sing, right? Taco sing. <laughs> Because I, I understand I is black and white tacosin. Mm -hmm. The white is you can eat in the black. You can eat. No. You can eat the white one. Ah, uh, can eat exactly. You, you can, can eat the, the white tacosin. White tacosin. You was you was the Tarzan. <laughs> the <word> Tarzan. <laughs> yeah. No, pero uh, uh, entonces I have never ate um uh, I don't know, I remember snake. Uh, snake? Yeah, right? never ate. You snake. have never eaten a snake. Eating a snake. Yeah. And you, Jenny? I have never eaten rabbit. Rabbit? Mm, okay. Um, Blanca? Hello? Hello. You, what? You never eaten? I, I never eaten octopus. Oh, octopus. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, this delicious. Uh, it's delicious. <laughs> I have yeah. tried the, the ink. I have tried uh, the ink. The ink. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I, 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 I cook in the octopus. I cook the octopus. octopus. Yeah. What is the pronunciation of taquasin in English? <laughs> Opposum. Opusum. 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 Really? Opusum. Taquasin? Yes. Oh, okay. Opusum. <laughs> I think the taquasin is the same uh, as the No? Uh-huh. Yeah. See? Yeah, they uh -huh. are the same. Mm, but okay. the cuisine more big, biggest. Bigger, they are bigger. Yeah. The Salvadorian yeah. ones. Aha, uh -huh. the cuisine is bigger. The Salvadorian is more, more it's, little. It's smaller. <laughs> okay. For um, um, another. Um, wait. Let I have never seen. I have never seen. And famous person like I've never seen Orca. <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. I have never been to been to Japan. Hello, Glendy, Esaú, and Merlin. Hello. Hi, Esaú. Did you practice with Glendy and Merlin? Hi, Esaú. How are you? I see. Really? Oh, I'm sorry you are sick. I wish you were not sick. <laughs> right. Well, I hope you feel better soon. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. You can practice via chat if you if you prefer. Okay? Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, it's time to come back to the main room. Okay. Thank you for practicing with your classmates. You were having interesting conversations. <laughs> okay, very nice. Something interesting from your classmates that you would like to share? Wonder it is preguntando. Wonder is I ask. 
As. ¿Cuál de esto? Ajá, as es preguntando, ¿verdad, Tiche? Ajá, wonder. wonder. Yes, it's like when you ask yourself, you have that doubt, you have a question. Mm, como preguntarse a sí mismo. Yes. Ah, ok. <ríe> sí, esa palabra nunca la había visto. <ríe> oh, it's new for you. Ok, good. Me too, teacher. Ah, so it's a new word for you. <ríe> it's like the song. Have you listened to the song Yellow Lemon Tree? It says, I wonder how. I wonder why. I wonder. <ríe> so wonder. it's like that. Like in the song yellow lemon tree i wonder how i wonder why yesterday you told me about the blue blue sky <laughs> hey teacher i like to <laughs> let's sing <laughs> i like to sing <laughs> okay so uh, would you like to share with the class some of the statements For example, what exotic food have you eaten or have you tried? I have never eaten uh, sushi. Really, Janelle, you should. Yes. <laughs> Try sushi. Me too. <laughs> me too. I say me, she have never eaten cheese because she don't like Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And me, and me say uh, never eating um sushi, sushi, sushi too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have never eaten sushi. Sushi. <laughs> and I, I have never eaten pacaya. You never eaten pacaya? <laughs> wow, but you live in El Salvador. Let's <laughs> <laughs> try. So you can say if you like it or not. It's a little bitter. Okay. Very good. Uh, any other one? I have never eaten rabbit. It's like chicken. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you better not eat rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I have never eaten rabbit as well. I never eaten goat. Eh, cabra, I never eaten goat. I would like to try. I never drank goat milk either. Uh, but I see people drinking goat milk, but I have never tried it. <laughs> okay. Me too, teacher. Yes. Okay, thank you for sharing. Thank you for practicing. I want to go over the next activity. This is a conversation between Erika and Aman. And in this conversation, you will see I read questions. So I need two volunteers with good sight. <laughs> David? Okay, David, you're mm -hmm. going to be the man. In the chair. And Jenny will be Erika. Excuse me, could you tell me where could you tell me where the bank is? There's one upstairs across from the duty free shop. Oh thanks. Do you know what time what time it opens? It should be it should be open now. It opens at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Good. And can you tell me how often the buses live for the city you need to check at the transportation counter it's right down the hall okay and just one more thing do you know where the nearest restaurant is right behind you ma'am see that sign oh thanks a lot <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jenny and David. <laughs> so if you notice, um, she's asking a lot of questions because maybe she's new in the city. And she's very, is she polite 
or informal? Uh, informal. 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 Formal. 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 Okay, she's very polite, right? Very formal. Oh. Yes. She is using the expressions, could you? Right? That is very polite. Uh, do you know? Do you know? Thanks. Can exactly. you tell me? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Mm -hmm. Just do you know? No. Do you know? Exactly. So she starts with those expressions and then she continues, right? With the rest of the question. Could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know what time it opens? Can you tell me how often the buses leave for the city? Do you know where the nearest restroom is? So she is making indirect questions because she's not saying, excuse me, where is the bank? Or what time does it open? Or how often mm -hmm. does the buses leave? Mm -hmm. When we don't know the people, mm -hmm. we try mm -hmm. not to be direct. Mm -hmm. We try to be more mm -hmm. polite, mm -hmm. more formal. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and let's see what is this, the, the explanation for this. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so um, when you make indirect questions from WH questions, you can see the direct questions. Where is the bank? The indirect questions, you use the expression, could you tell me and look at the structure where the bank is? So the verb to be goes at the end of the question. Where is the taxi stand? Do you know where the taxi stand is? So we put the verb to be at the end, okay? That is the only a change that you are going to make and add the polite expression. Now, another one. WH we do or did. How often do the buses uh, leave for the city? Can you tell me how often the buses leave for the city? In this case, we are using the verb leave and we don't use the auxiliary. We don't use the auxiliary. We eliminate the auxiliary do or does or did. When did fly 566 arrive? Do you know when fly 566 arrived? But you have to make sure the verb is, in this case, in the past, but you eliminate the auxiliary. You eliminate the auxiliary did. Do you know when fly 566 arrived? Next example, what time does the duty free shop open? Do you know what time the duty free shop opens? So that is in the, in the present. So I use uh, the verb opens with the S in the third person singular. I eliminate the auxiliary, but in the indirect question, I conjugate the verb with the S. Adrian? Yes, Adrian? Yes. Do you have a question? No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> I thought you had a question, Adriana. <laughs> okay, let's practice, guys, because we learn by practicing. We have more examples here. Uh, for example, where is Tondo Street? Can you tell me where Tondo Street is? What time does the supermarket open? Do you know what time the supermarket opens? How much do you earn? Could you tell me how much you earn? 
What is he doing? May I ask what he is doing? What is your last name? May I know what your last name is? May I know what your last name is? Can you tell me what your last name is? So these are a uh, polite ways to ask, okay? Especially when you don't know the people, you are talking to strangers. Now, for just no questions, we can use if and whether plus a positive word order. We can use these expressions, if or whether. Do you know these words, if? Or whether? Uh, have you seen them before? <laughs> if or whether? Or is the first time? For me, it's the first time. First time. Okay. Okay. I hope that you can understand the meaning of if and whether. It's, it's, it's like saying yes, but in another way. Are you living in London? I would like to know if you are living in London. Me gustaría saber si estás viviendo en London. I would like to know if you are living in London. Does John like flying? It's a connection. Do you know whether John likes flying? Sabe si John le gusta volar, viajar en avión. <laughs> Do you know whether John likes flying? Did she go shopping? I'm not sure if she went shopping. Was she a teacher? Can you tell me whether she was a teacher? So if or whether is for yes, no. Okay, for yes or no. Because we, the answer is a yes or no. I would like to know if you're living in London. Uh, no, I'm not living in London anymore. Do you know whether John likes flying? Yes, I do. He likes flying. Okay. I'm not sure if she went shopping. I think she went shopping. Yes, she, she did. Can you tell me whether she was a teacher? No, she wasn't a teacher. She was a secretary. Something. Okay. So if and whether, uh, we use it when the question is a yes, no question. Now let's see the exercises. Karen, do you have a question? Teacher, can you tell me when when I use if and whether? You, I mean, you can use um, any of them, like for a condition. For example, in this case. Sabes si, sabes si John le gusta viajar? Sabes si. So that, that is the meaning of this word. Uh, no estoy seguro si ella fue a comprar, si ella fue de compras. No estoy seguro si. ¿Me podrías decir si ella era maestra? So that is the, the meaning of if or whether. And you can use... Uh, both of them indistinctly. <laughs> you kept when when the when the sentences or the question are negative, I use if. And where is the or no? No, I mean. For example, if the question is yes, no question, you will use if or you will use whether. You can use any of them. When is a yes, no question? Okay, when it's a yes, no question, you use yes. if or you use whether. Mm -hmm. Different from the original teacher. Excuse it's optional. Me? It's optional. They, they use if or whether. Or whether, yes. You can use if or you can use whether. 
Thank you. Add if it's a yes, no question. With WH mm -hmm. questions, we use the WH, right? Word. Where is Tondo Street? Can you tell me where Tondo Street is? We are using WH. But in yes, no questions, you can use if or you can use whether. Okay? Thank you, I don't know. Exactly. Any of them. Any of them. Any of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or if or whether. <laughs> Any of them is the same as whatever. No, because whatever is whatever. <laughs> but here you have two options, if or whether. Okay. Okay. Cualquiera de esas, any of them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, you will help me to choose what is the correct response. Mm -hmm. What is the correct response? Do you know if taking a taxi is safe here? Or do you know if is taking a taxi safe here? What is the correct option? Letter B. Letter A. Oh, it's letter, letter A. Letter, letter A. A. The majority says letter A. It's letter A. Why? Because when you after if the it has it, the sentence must take a positive or affirmative order, like a sentence. Do you know if taking a taxi is safe here? That was in the previous slide, look. If weather plus positive were order, you are living in London, John likes, she went shopping or she was a teacher. So taking a taxi is safe here. Do you know if taking a taxi is safe here? Okay, next. That's your name. Do you know what is the color or do you know what the color is? What the color is? What the color, what the color is? is? What the color is? Would you tell me does the bus stop here or if the bus stops here? Letter B. If the bus stops here. Me podría decir si el bus para aquí, if the bus stops here. Okay, do you know how much the ticket costs? How much does the ticket cost? How much? Do you know how the ticket costs? Do you Letter know how, much, Letter how much the Letter... ticket costs? Okay, five. Can you tell me when is the restaurant closing? When the restaurant is closing? Uh, letter, letter, letter B. 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 When the restaurant is closed. When the restaurant, when the restaurant is, is, is closed. Is closed. Oh, when close. the restaurant is closing. Mm -hmm. And do you know if Lucy worked at home yesterday? Do you know the did age. Lucy work yesterday? Letter A. A. If, 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 Lucy, if Lucy worked at home. Okay, seven. Do you know were they at the beach? Do you know if they were at the beach? If Letter they B. were. Letter if B. They were, if they were at the beach. They were not in the class. They were not. Yeah. Okay, yeah. do you know why they arrived so late? Or do you know why did they arrive so late? A Y A. A. Do you know why they arrived so late to the class? It was 9.30 when they arrived to the English class. I would like to know why. <laughs> Do you know why? Okay, so you can see here different ways in which we can use if. 
or we can use whether. In this case, all the examples or all the exercises were with if, but they could be with, you can, instead of if, you can also use whether. Do you know whether Lucy worked at home yesterday? Hmm? Let's continue practicing. Okay, in this case, you have to tell me what is the indirect question. Where is the station? Is the direct question? Could you tell me? Could you tell me where is the station? Station? Hmm. Could you tell yeah. me where the station is? Where the station is. Remember when it's with the bird to be, the bird to be goes at the end. Are you coming to the party? This is a yes, no question. Maybe could you tell me, are you coming to the party? Is the same? Or no? I don't know. Could you let me know? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. It's a yes, no question. Remember, when we when it's a yes, no question, you use yes, I call. You can use or you can use this or where. But you can yes, I call. Yes, I am. That is the mm -hmm. answer. Be sure we, we have to use if. Oh, if. Could Where? you tell me if are you coming to the party? Could you let me know? You have to start with. Could oh, you let me? Yes. Could you Sorry. let me know if. Could you. If, if you are coming to the party? Mm. Uh, because it's a yes no question mm. remember with just no we use if or we use mm. whether could you let me know whether you are coming to the party could you yeah. let me know if you are coming to the party mm -hmm. okay number three how does it work could you tell me how Uh, how, work work work. how how do you how does we eliminate, it, eliminate how could, it could you tell me it works how it how it works how it, it works. works exactly how it works could, could you tell me how no, it works how it works work it No, because no. we make it like a sentence. We put the WH and then like affirmative sentence. Could you tell me how it works? We eliminate the auxiliary. Next, has Lucy been to Mexico? Do you know, Do you know if, if Lucy been to Mexico? Do you know if Lucy has been to Mexico? Okay. Or do you know whether Lucy has been to Mexico? Okay. Number five. Does your brother live in Argentina? Can you tell me if your brother Can you tell me if your brother lives in Argentina? If your brother live or leaves? Live. 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 Lives. Live. With S. Leaves. <coughs> wow. Okay, now you are sick. <laughs> I was like you. Okay, can you tell me if your brother lives? In lives. Mm -hmm. Lives. Exactly. In Argentina. The third person, singular. Mm -hmm. How long does it take to get there? Would you mind telling me the work, the how, question work? How, how, how long, long to get how there? Long, how long? 
How long is pay to get here? Pay to get here. It pay. It pay to get here. Uh -huh. Would you mind telling me how long it takes to get there? Mm. What are you doing? Do you mind Do telling you me? Teacher, ¿por qué lleva ese takes? Si no es tercera persona. It is third person. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> don't worry, Karen, don't worry. What are you doing? Do you mind telling me what if you what you are doing? What you are doing? What you are doing? Do you mind telling me what you are doing? Okay, so remember, remember. If it's W H, you have to put the W H and the rest like a sentence, like affirmative sentence, right? How long it takes to get there? What you are doing? Uh, how it works? Where the station is? And if it's a yes no question. You have to use if or whether, and then like a sentence, like affirmative sentence. Could you let me know if you are coming to the party? If Lucy has been to Mexico? Okay. Is it clear? More or less. More or less. More or less. Like horchata. Like horchata. Oh, okay. So now, guys, I have this exercise in which you have to make questions and they read questions. Remember the person from the previous conversation? She is asking a lot of questions. Do you know what time the bank opens? Can you tell me how often the buses leave? What is, do you know where the restroom is? So right now you're going to work on a conversation. Imagine a tourist is visiting El Salvador and is asking questions about transportation, accommodations, sightseeing, or other services. 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 So let's try to write a conversation individually. You are going to create a conversation or you can type the questions that uh, you think a tourist would ask. What questions would a tourist ask? Where are you from? Yeah, but but remember to use the expressions. What expressions? Ah, the expressions. For example, could you tell me? Do Where you... the hotel is? Excuse me. Where the hotel is. Where the hotel is. Okay. Can you tell me uh, open the, the park? Where the bus station? Exactly. But remember to use the polite expressions. Could you tell me? Could you tell me? Do you know? Would you mind? Telling me, you have to write the rest. You can type it in the chat or you can open your microphone and share. Or maybe you can ask about things about the course, about the English class, about the teacher, about your classmates. Could you tell me where the, the pharmacy is? Where? The pharmacy? pharmacy. Where the pharmacy is? Okay. I'm sorry. Very Love nice. Stories. Could you tell me where mm -hmm. the pharmacy is? Very good, Ruth. Okay. 
Do you know where do you eat pupusas? Do you know where I can eat pupusas? I can eat delicious pupusas. <laughs> For example, do you know where the best pupuseria is? Could you tell me what what kind of food do you prefer? Okay, what kind of food do you prefer? Mm -hmm. Teacher. Can you tell me how often does the train in the city? How often the train rain? Can you repeat? Can you tell me how often does it rain in the city? Ah, okay. Could you tell me how often, or... how often it rains? It's rain, okay. Uh -huh. Eliminate, okay. eliminate the auxiliary. That's, eliminate okay. the auxiliary. That's uh -huh. okay. We have some some of some examples. Do you know if there is a bank near? Okay, Hannah, Miguel. Uh, hello, can you tell me where the hospital is? Yes, it is located two blocks from here. Excellent. It's correct. Could you tell me how I get to the bus station? How I get to the bus station is correct. Can you, you tell know? me? Yes, Jenny. Uh, can you tell me uh, what is the nearly, nearly restaurant? Where the near the nearest restaurant? Nearest restaurant. Okay, could you tell me where the nearest the restaurant, restaurant is? is. Uh-huh. Where the hotel is, where is the Patison? Okay, Francisco, do you know where the Patison is? Where the Patison is? Evelyn Janelle, could you tell me the hour today? <laughs> Could you tell me how I get to the bus station? Very good, David. Yes, teacher. I, I wrote a conversation. <laughs> oh, okay, perfect. Yes, and it says, um, excuse me, could you tell me where the Metro Centro is? Mm -hmm. Like A is in Boulevard de los Héroes. Thank you. Do you know uh, what buses can, uh, can take me there? Yes, of course. You can take any bus 29 line. Could you mind telling me how much are the buses? How much Damn. the bus is? Oh my God, yes. How much the how bus much, uh -huh. How much the bus is? They only cost 25 cents. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Excellent, Irene. Yes, you deserve an applause. Perfect. You were using you a conversation with undirected questions. Okay, Yvette, it says, do you know where the best place in this country is? We're using the verb to be is goes at the end. Can you tell me where Plaza Mundo is? Just yeah, you 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 repeat it is truth. <laughs> I don't understand the one about the seafood. Could you tell me the seafood? Can you tell me where I can buy seafood? Maybe where I can buy seafood. Do you know where I can buy a beautiful dress? Would you mind telling me 
the route for surf city? <laughs> what is the route for surf city? Do you know what bus go to the Tunku Beach? Excellent. I have no idea. <laughs> Do you know? Okay. <laughs> Okay, look at this. Do you know where I can rent a cheap car? <laughs> can you tell me where we can go after class? We can go to the bed. <sighs> Directly. <laughs> Can you tell me if you are a, if you are going to continue with the course? Can you tell me if you're going to continue with the English course, with the English classes? Can you tell me when, when the Pan American Games are, or is, well, are because games is in plural. Can you tell me when the Pan American Games are? Or when they are going to start? They are going to start next Friday, I guess. Would you mind telling me which the most beautiful beach in this country is? Yes, goes at the end. At the end of the question. Cut it. Do you know how to get to the Soto Beach? <gasps> Oh, Esau, can you tell me where my money is? Would you mind telling me which is, which the most beautiful beach in this country is? Okay. Thank you for your examples. Do you still have one more, one more minute? I would like to do another exercise with you quickly, quickly, quickly. I promise. Okay. Uh, it's about past participle verbs. I noticed that you need to practice the past participle of uh, the verbs in English. Okay. Hey, would you mind telling me how I can go to Cerro Verde? Yeah, take me with you. Okay, you're going to help me to complete this quickly before we go. The past and the past participle. What is the past of it? Eight. Eight. Past Eight. participle? Eaten. 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 Drink? Eaten. Drunk. 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 Play? Played. 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 Played.
Meet. Met. Met. I met. Met. I met these wonderful students this course. Work. 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 We work very hard to do this course. Washed. Washed. Sometimes we watched we washed face because it's very few. Washed. 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 Right? Wrote. Wrote. Written. 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 Or written with double T. Read. 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 Red, the red. same red. spelling but different red. pronunciation, red. like the color red. Bye. Bye. Begin. Okay. Drive, drove, drove, no. drove, drove and driven, driven, driven. sing, song, 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 Catch, cut, and cut, and teach, cut, and cut. And yes, and we are going to finish here because it's 10.04. It's late. But it was a pleasure, guys, to be with you this course. To send. But I can see you around in next courses. So please continue studying. And just I would like to know the people who entered to the class a little bit late. And I didn't take the attendance for those people. Teacher, I met in class. What's your name? Tell me your Karen name. Karen. 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 Okay, Karen. It's here. Glendy Flores. Leslie. Glendy. Glendy. Sorry, Glendy. Okay, Glendy Flores. Yes. Kenia Corbera. Kenia, okay. Kenia. Kenia Vanessa. Eh, Oscar Alexander. Was Oscar? Renato Ramirez. Renato Salvador Ramirez. Yes, Salvador. Teacher me llamó. Eh, who? Ariana González. Ariana. Ok, Luisa. Now it's here. Luisa Ariana. Mi teacher. Who? Evelyn. Evelyn Marroquín. Naja Marroquín, Janet Marroquín. Evelyn, yes. Ok, Evelyn. Thank you. Somebody else? Only those ones. Ana Silvia Rodríguez de Funes. No, not in class today. Uh, Giselle Marie. Um, Luis Ariana. Luisa. Okay, Luisa. Okay, Luisa, thank you. And in Rob Saul. And Oscar Alexander. Okay, thank you so much. I hope that you can rest. I don't right. know if you take my assistant oh miguel i think uh, yeah I, I i did miguel okay thanks miguel portillo yes Jos, Josué miguel. Mm -hmm. yes okay thanks you're welcome okay people you can go to bed now take care it was a pleasure thanks it was a pleasure. Nice to meet you too. You were a nice Thank group. you for I enjoyed teacher. the classes with you guys. Me too. What? <laughs> it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure too. Pleasure.
My pleasure. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. See you. <laughs> Bye.